Okay, in this version, we're going to show you uh, introduce the new AS1000. It uh, it takes the place of the AS100, the old one you're seeing on YouTube. So we'll show you the new version of it. This is the old one. It worked very well. It's it's fairly user friendly, but now we'll, we'll put that aside. We'll introduce the new one. That's the new AS1000. It's really user friendly. Extremely well balanced. It's completely versatile. It works everywhere any kicker works. And this is what it's designed to replace. It's about six pounds. Like I say, the balance is great. The uh, cylinder pressure to Square inches on the head is they're, they're, they're very well balanced too, so there's no carpet damage. It does it does all the small areas. It's not a power stretcher. It's just a, a basically a utility stretcher. It will it stretches all the closets, all the small areas. If you've power stretched a, a hall, the length of a hall, this does. The rest of it, down the sides, it does all the all the tight areas. And like I say, six pounds, well balanced. It's just so easy to work, and it's actually a semi-automatic. The only thing you have to do is is place it, do your stretching, and let it go. Head comes back, comes out of the out of the carpet. It's ready to move. So, and it's. It is really user friendly. Okay, we'll show you how it works now with a bit of power. On all these tools, we set our compressors at 125 pounds, 130 pounds, 150 pounds, and then we do our controlling right here, right at the tool, with the remote pressure regulator. It just snaps on, your air hose snaps on the back you're ready to, you can set the pressure you want right here. Okay, let's, let's put this thing in. Let's put this little guy at about 40 pounds. And this, this demo board that we're working on is only a small one, but on the job filming, it's, it's really hard to show how these tools function. So this, this is just to give you an idea. You can see it readily here how it, how it works and what what the, the difference is with the different air pressures. So we'll set that at 40 pounds. And like I say, it's a utility tool. It's for it's to take the place of the knee kicker. Set it down, pull the trigger. That's at 40 pounds. On this particular on this particular display, if the rule of thumb is Stretching is uh, one to one and a half percent for every ten feet. It's easier to, to remember. It's easier to remember uh, one inch and eight feet. That's that's a good rule for CRS specs for stretching. So this is this is only a seven footer. So we're we're only going to pull. We're only going to pull uh, less than an inch out of it, actually, is what we need. But this, now it's set at 60 pounds. We started at 40. Now this is 60. Set it. You can see the stretch on that. That's pretty well what we need at 60 pounds. And let's take it up to 80 pounds. It maxes out at 150 pounds, around 550 pounds of push. That's at 80 pounds. Take it up to 90. And it just, it'll, you can leave it. It'll hold, maintain the, the push until you're finished if you're tucking behind it or it's, like I say, very, very versatile. Also, that's at 90. Also, there is a, you can run the head out and there's a, there's a travel spacer in here you can set. Now when it comes back, the, the tool has a, 
has a three inch travel, the same as your pull stretchers or any of the other tools, the crab, the, the mini stretcher, three inches. A lot of times it's nice if you don't need a lot of stretch, so it's nice to have the head a little closer to the smooth edge. That, that stops the, the bubbling in front. So you can set the travel spacer. Now you've only got two inches of travel instead of three. It'll cut an inch out. That's at 90 pounds. Hit the release button, comes back. Let's do 100. And this is, this is the smallest one of them all. Like I say, it's for utility purposes, just 110. Now she's getting serious on the stretch. But normally you don't need all that. 120. Now that's, that head now has traveled as two inches. It stopped, it's at the limit of its travel. You can hear the release here getting a little, a little more serious. There's 130. It's there again. It's at the end of its travel, but we don't need all that anyway. So let's take it back. No. Now it's going back to its three-inch travel again. Now there's your. That's at 130 pounds. You can take it up to 150, and it really starts to get aggressive. And like I say, the, the uh, satellite pressure regulator is nice to have right on the back of all these tools, because then you can just you take what you want. If you're stretching in a pattern, like this one, a tight pattern along the walls, uh, you can set the pressure. Get your stretch and it's a, it's the same right across the room. It gives you nice even stretches. With the swivel with the swivel bar, it will give you your 15 degrees or whatever degrees you want. Actually we'll you don't need 120 pounds on that, just give you any direction you want. And for stretching, it's just stretch it out to where you want it, run your hand in, let it go, move it, stretch it out to where you want. There again now, with that, the bulging in front, that's the three inch travel. Let's, let's push this down, oops, okay. Gotta let the head out on this one. Now you're down to two inch, and you don't get that build up in front. So you can set it at what you want. And just move it, pin it. So it's just about as fast as you want to go with this little guy. If you're a high baller, it'll follow along. But it it does it does all the work of the kicker and all the tight spots. You can use it on a staircase with the travel spacer, but it's a little long and a little awkward. And when the, in, in another segment, we'll show you the, the stair stretcher. But that's about all there is to this one. Yeah.